So now the wire is going, I can shut off the wire. And then when I close the door, I have to close the door before the head to do anything yep. automatic. I push the green button, that's called return to contour. Yep. So it brings a Z in there. If I had to move it anyway, I have a certain amount of commands I can move at X and Y and Z until it stops. And then to get it back, it's either this one here or return to contour. So it's either F2, and this is this also, this is F2, this is return to contour. So now okay. it's ready to go. So I just go back to my initial execution screen. You see here it's prep, execution, info, and graph. So graph is showing us the part. This is showing us the generator settings, how fast it's cutting, our clock. Um, and this is where we go to the execution. So I'm just gonna return. It has to have the com for communication. These buttons are lit up. This is go. This is stop, and this is erase the program. So if I want to get out of it, I can do that. Okay. So I just press that. I can hear the air valve open up the water injection, and hopefully it resumes. Now, if it breaks the wire a lot, sometimes it'll come into a pocket where it'll hit air, so it doesn't change the power setting enough, and that breaks the wire. So if I'm worried about breaking the wire, I can go to the generator settings, and the larger this B value is, the um, less power. Okay. I just turn the power down. And I have speed here, 10. That means that 17 inches an hour. So right now we can go up to 170 inches an hour as a limit. If I notice, say I'm, I play with my B value and I want to get it below 5, I just go over here and, you know, if I put, if I put 0.5 in, say, that's 17 times a half. So that would be, you know, 8, <laughs> eight and a half inches an hour. Speed it up, you can play with the settings, and generally if I change the power, it'll cut faster, so it won't change the dimension of the part. But you can get to a certain point over here in the generator settings that you can put it so much power, and these were things want to be here called machining and strategy, those always want to be at zero. So when you see that the numbers are very high, you can manually tune it because it's happiest at, at that setting. So after a while you get used to what parameters you can change to make sure the wire doesn't break or something. What else here? The flushing, that, that's in bar, so that's the injection. So one bar, two bar, three bar. It'll go up to, I think, seven bars, which is over 100 PSI. That's your top and bottom pressures. Now is this basically just 10,000, so can you run different... Uh, we things? ran 4,000s, but they said it's not designed to do that, but we did do it, the wire broke it off a lot of the time. Because this arm is so heavy, okay. we did do it, but we didn't do it often. So we make these grain electrodes. Yep. And uh, we did nothing by just altering a lot of the center, but it was difficult. And the wire broke because the part, what happens, the part was done. So then the part pinched on the wire. And a lot of times the wire will break. Just oh, well. The slots were getting, as smaller than 10,000, so we had to use four pieces. Wow. Yeah. Nice. But so for all your scrap ends up down there, we snip it, put it in a box, and then we turn that in for, you know, for cash. Yeah. Are your parts. And the nice thing about this, the reason we have it, we make tension samples for the instrument. We want to pull on. Oh, the, the instruments, yep. All right, so we want to make sure that we're not changing the metal graphic uh, the right. inside the, the structure of the part. And I try to tell you, if you cut something with a saw, right, you've annealed it a little or you've hardened it a little. Exactly. This doesn't change it, and they're all completely identical. So that's great. And over and over and over, you can pull that program later. You can do a sheet too, go from one to another. So you nice. you get a little advantage when you stack it. It cuts quicker, you'll get more parts in that amount of time. And you can analyze the programs for this thing called Cam CT. Alright, and then I can go over to these are all my drives, A drive, B, U, and memory. So I, I am running off of a floppy right now. So I want to do this one here. It draws it out here and it shows the lines here. Nice. So now it's done too small, so I'm just going to redraw it to auto scale the part. So that's the part I'm cutting now. I see. So as I scroll through, I'm doing the offset. G42 tells me I'm offsetting the wire inboard, so my out, so the frame will be perfect. So there's my straight cut, X Y direction. There's my radius is a GO2. Yep. A GO1 straight, another GO2, GO1. And so what I have to add into it is 
is these cuts. So I had the M12, which is cut, shutting off the offset, and the GOO is a rapid move, and then it ray threads, that's M6, turns the offset on again for the correct direction. Nice. And you can stop awesome. it anywhere. Like, say you wanted to be here before it drops out. I could put an MO, MO1. It'll stay here with these two lights on. It waits for me to come here. I could clamp it or get ready for it to fall out, hit it, and it'll resume. Pretty so cool. there's a lot of little tricks that you can do. Yep. They say they're a workhorse, especially the frame in the back. I don't know if you look at the duct tape in the back. Oh, yeah. Yep. But you know, our gantry here, so we've got stepper motors for each way here. We've got glass slides here, so it's optically controlling for the measurement. I think I did the brushes on this is my wire feed. Yeah. So after 20 years, the brushes went. I bought the brushes from Charmaine for like thirty dollars. It didn't take long to put them in. Awesome. And so we did these lines. We replaced these lines. And a couple of these other small ones. The pumps are all original. We keep them going constantly. Yep. And no, it's it clean. You, it keeps you from running the machine without lubricating it. I mean, you can sort of trick the machine, but it's in there for 2,000 hours. It shows up, stop, grease the machine. So we pump it into these, yep. right, and we wipe it into all the dovetails. So first we wipe all the grease out, put in the brand new grease, pump in the brand new grease, and just give an overall checkup. No, it looks very well, well maintained. So we go through a resin tank once or twice a year. I go through filters every 50 or 75 cutting hours, depending on what I'm cutting. The yep. soft materials you can plug, the filters are hard materials. Right. You can do a lot of aluminum and copper, magnesium, and you're going to change the filters a little bit. So you shut the pumps off. I have an air ratchet to make my life easier. Pull all these out, pull out the cartridges, yep. and change the Nice. So we go through wire, resin, and filters every 50 or 75 and it doesn't have an automatic filter. Very careful. I have a filter on the tank, I have a timer. Mm -hmm. It's an hour to fill it. We have a filter before we have that timer, so the timer's are safe. Oh, that's good. If the water comes out, it goes in the basement. Awesome. Well, you guys got to set up over here. And then there's air filter. We change those every two years. Yep. And it leaves the air that goes inside. Awesome. If we have spare floppies, we've never had to replace them, but I think a lot of it's because it has a seal. Right, so it's keeping the dust up. One of the computers we have, right, pulls the dust in through the floggings. Right. The so I see. We save some from some old computers. <coughs> so if you take this panel out, it's just a regular PC. Yep. Right. That's a regular... Uh... You can't really see it unless you take this panel out. You'll yeah. see a regular PC motherboard. Right. And a hard drive. That's a VGA? VGA. VGA I monitor. Think so. Yeah. It was a CRT, and we changed the CRT. An LCD. Yep. And then these are all your fiber optic cable for measurements. And some of your controlling is a lot more of the cabinet out back. You got all the start up, start up. Uh... We have all the manuals, original manuals. We have all the. These are all original. If you had to, if you had to wipe out the memory completely. This will restore everything back. It's and the battery, you replace the batteries. Uh... We did that once. Yeah. There's one of these. Here that has four or five NICADs. Right. They said they were known for leaking, and the guy pulled it out one time. They saw a little leaky spot. It was like 10 years ago, so we bought the batteries. I soldered them in, so we soldered them in. All right. And right. If you're pretty good at soldering, you can do it yourself. Okay. I don't think I've ever replaced anything down here. But they have said, okay, go to K so and so, measure your voltage. So yeah. they walk you around, check this, check that. But nothing really major has ever gone by. 